What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode with Bubba the Third Eye Blind Triclops. Uh, this is going to be a number two video for my Tedious But Necessary series. And if you haven't figured it out by me having a placemat down, uh, we're going to be doing some cleaning. And uh, this isn't necessarily the thing that I always use. It's just something that I bought a while back and it's just, it hasn't ran out yet and I don't feel like buying another one because this works just as good. Uh, but uh, normally I would have like a ballast stall or something like that. But we got hops for right now. So we're going to be breaking down the 1911 and giving it a thorough cleaning. So you're going to get a breakdown video for it. And we're going to be breaking down my little Taurus G2C, uh, which if you don't know, it breaks down the exact same as a Glock and uh, M&P Shield. So you're going to get a lesson for all three of those because they're pretty much the exact same system. So first off, we're going to start with the 1911. Now, first rule of thumb, 1911. You're going to have to have the barrel pointed at you to start disassembling this gun if you don't know that. So number one thing you need to do, safety sake, kick out the magazine. Make sure that the gun is completely and totally empty. Now what you're going to do, get that magazine out of the way because you don't want to get a hole all over your bullets. Come on now. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the gun facing towards this way. And there's this little bitty bushel right here that you're going to press. I forgot mine rotates differently than the other ones. But you're gonna pull it out to the side and you're gonna slowly let up off of the spring. So that's the first part. Once the spring's out, pretty easy from here. Now, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get that bushel spring or get that bushling out of there, but uh, hey, we'll move on to the next part. Now the second part, that'll be fine. Second part's gonna be this right here. You're gonna be pushing this in once you rack the slide back to its appropriate spot, which is gonna be just behind the slide hole. If y'all can see that, it's right behind this. There's a little bitty notch above there. See if we can get that into focus. A little bitty notch. You're gonna line it up with the slide release. You're gonna go ahead and push this out. Once this is pushed out, the slide release is gonna come out a little bit. You're gonna pull that out, set that off to the side. Now that that is done, you're going to pull forward. And now you have the receiver in one hand, the slide and barrel and spring assembly in the other. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and whip that bushling over. Pull the bushing out, pull the spring out, pull out the little bit resting pin, and you're gonna push out your barrel. And so now you have the slide just by itself, no barrel, nothing at all, and you've got the bottom. Uh, in which case, you probably wanna decock that so you don't accidentally mess up and, uh, yeah, torque your uh, hammer. So that's basically how the gun looks when it's disassembled. Now, to some of you new gun owners, new 1911 owners, this might look a little intimidating. Uh, it it kind of was for me just because it was the first gun I ever broke down this far. But it, it's, it's not as bad as long as you remember what the steps were beforehand. So you got the bushel that you push over so that you can unlock and slowly let out on this spring and this front part. You've got this, the little be slide release that you push out on the side. You got your slide itself. You got your barrel. You got the little be resting nut that goes at the end of the spring. And 
and that's about it for the top part. Now we'll break down putting it back together after we get done cleaning it. Uh, what I like to use for the small, it'll be hard to get into places is some Q-tips. And you gotta be careful with them because you know some cotton might get stuck in there. So you gotta be a little bit careful with them. But as for the fact that this is a black gun, black colored gun, it's not gonna be too hard to uh, see white on it. So if you see any white on it from wherever you're using this to scrub, yeah, you might wanna get rid of it. But we're gonna start right here, inside the little bitty grooves on the side where the slide rests through. And we're just gonna be checking for some carbon. See, there's a little bit of carbon in there. Not too much. But we want to get that out of there. Now, once the slide part's finished, I'm going to go ahead and get through that feed ramp right there. A little bit of wipe down. A little bit through here where the spring rests through. So it ain't that much in this little bit rest, but get it if you can. Go ahead and wipe off where the trigger group is. Wipe in behind the trigger. Double check. You're done with the lower receiver. Now you can mess with the magwell and stuff like that, but I mean, honestly, it's, it's not as important, but for the sake of the tedious but necessary, We'll go ahead and wipe out the edges on this. Yeah, so, eh, not that much. So, well, that's it for the lower receiver. Now for the slide, just like I did with the bottom, I like to take a new Q-tip, because this one's still got some dirt all over it. Make a new one, and go inside the grooves of the slide. Got a little bit of carbon in there, not much. Go through the front where the bushing sits in. Double checking to make sure that we ain't got any, that we don't have any cotton as I'm wiping this down. Try to get the edges where the slide goes. And this part right here, I try not to get too much oil on. I like to use the Q-tip just to put the oil in there. But we're gonna go ahead and wipe this out just in case. I'm gonna knock off some of that carbon, if there is any. It seems to be quite a bit actually up here. I must have missed this the last time I cleaned it. Like I said, tedious but necessary. There's quite a bit right there. Oh boy. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. Anyway, but yeah, this is going to be a little bit longer video since I'm doing two guns. All right, so now the slide's done. Check the bushing. Bushing actually looks fairly decent. That's not too bad. Check it out just a little bit. I'm going to run the rim for a bit. But otherwise, it looks okay. Uh, spring assembly actually looks good because I just cleaned this. All right, so there's that. Now, if you're going to clean this, it's, it's mainly going to be this and this end part right here. The, the guiding rod, whatever you want to call it is what you're gonna to wanna to clean. And then of course the uh, slide release and the barrel. And the barrel, I don't like to use Q-tip on just because it's the barrel, it's probably the most important part. Now what I have here is a little bitty kit. It comes with all kinds of different, uh, different barrel sizes and stuff that we can clean, clean out the gun with, but for all intents and purposes, this little bitty brush right here that came with the gun has actually been working pretty well. So we'll just go ahead and shove that in there, see if we get anything out of it. I don't see any residuals coming out the barrel. 
Barrel looks clean. Rifling is absolutely exquisite. I actually want to say this has got a one and six twist, but I'm not 100% sure. Which, I mean, it's a pistol, so it doesn't really mean too much. It just means it's like one rotation for this barrel since it's like six inches. So. Uh, see, now that that's all done, we've brushed off all the excess carbon. What we come next is the hops. What I like to do, just because I have these little bit of kits here, is I like to grab this little 410 cotton swap that comes with it. We're going to go ahead and I can't remember what size this end is. I always try to remember, but I always forget. Right, this is the weird ones. Forgot the pistols have a weird, uh, weird little nut you got to work with. It's an extra little bit of bracer for this kit. For whatever the reason they did this, I, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, but yeah, somebody was somebody from Keltec was there, I guess, because it's just nutty. Like most of their guns, crazy looking. They never cease to amaze me with how weird they make their guns. Space guns to the maximum. So I wouldn't be surprised if they made this kit. Or at least the assemblies for it. Now, you know what? I don't think we need the full thing. I don't know why I grabbed all of that. Oh, I know why I was trying to fit it. All right, let's go ahead and shoot this puppy in here. Now, the hops, it's pretty thick, so you don't want to get too much on this. You need about half cotton swab I'm just gonna shove it in there clean out the barrel just a bit yeah. wipe out the outside of the barrel not too much that's why I'm using cotton swabs Especially get the grooves right here that it's resting on. It's kind of important. Well, and then we'll just go ahead and set that off and let it dry just a little bit. And take the little slide pin, put a little bit on it. I'm not doing a very deep clean video because I've already done this one. So, if you guys are frustrated that I'm not doing some heavy duty clean on it, that's uh, that's the reason why I'm not. <laughs> Gotta get that bush one. Let that dry off to the side. Take this, just put a lot of oil on this, so we'll put a little bit more on um, that resting pin. All right. Put it right here, the guide rod. And I guess we'll put some on the spring a little bit, not much. Not really gonna help it all too much, but we'll put some on there. Heck with it. And for the barrel, like I said, try not to get too much inside those grooves right there, but do try to get on the grooves if you have them on the inside of the slide. If you can see them, there's two of them right there. Try to get a little bit on there, kind of make that slide ride a little bit better, kind of lube it up just a little bit. get to the sensitive parts we're going to switch to some q-tips we'll get them groove 
push of that slide. Trying hard not to touch the inside of this. I know this is like watching paint dry. It's kind of boring, isn't it? But it is necessary. Tedious, but necessary. Let me wipe this up. Just in case I got some on that little metal part right there. Nice and shiny looking. Let's set this off to the side, let it dry for a bit. Now we come to the receiver, or the lower, whatever you want to call it. Get a little bit more hops on here. Work on that feed ramp a bit. A little bit on that slide outtake on the outside. A little bit right through here. And just work on them sides again. And I guess we get inside the mag wheel, try to get a little bit of a brush. Now, other part, I'll try to pull that hammer back just a little here. Put a few drops in there. back yeah I'm half cocked so we can keep that out right there we pretty much well got this done we're gonna let it dry for a little bit well yeah, put the hops bottle up go ahead and Rest our little barrel back inside of its little case. Make sure it ain't too wet, ain't too lubed. And it's looking kind of good. Yep. Put it in there. That will be a resting guide rod right there. Shove the spring back in there. Now, I've been told it's better to let that eyelet right there for the barrel rest on the barrel whenever you gotta put this back in, but I haven't really noticed any difference of having it up or having it off to the side or having it down, so. But just for the sake of it, I'll teach you all the way I was taught. So go ahead and put this little guide rod back in there. Wipe it off a little bit. And then we'll take this little bushing right here. Now, you might want to rotate it once you put it back on. Oh, well, now you're going to give me a problem, aren't you? Oh, there we go. And that will keep it right there. Just so that whenever it happens, whenever you go put this back together, it's not super terrible. All right, so we got that. Got that right there. Our receiver is pretty well dried out, but still going to wipe out that feed ramp just a little bit. slide back into the grooves This 
here. Push it back in. Now you're making it hard for me. Okay. Son of a gun. There it is. And then sometimes the bushing comes out, so. Go ahead and do this. Push that guide rod back down. Guide rods back in place. And there we go. That's the 1911. Fully cleaned. Wipe off a little bit of that excess lube on it. And there you go. It's 1911 breakdown and full assembly. Always double check. Make sure when you rack it back, the trigger still pulls. And just double check everything. Make sure everything's functioning correctly. And try to line up that eye. Now we got the next gun. Again, always make sure you undo and take out the magazine. Double check the chamber, make sure there ain't nothing in there. Now this gun is a lot easier to take apart. Just grab this right here. Hit the slide back, but there you go. So it's these two little indicators right here, you pull down, rack the slide a little bit, pull the trigger as you're racking the slide, comes right off. So pretty much the same as a Glock and an M&B. But the assembly for this is a lot more compact. You got the spring here, just like you did in 1911, except it's very nicely condensed. And then you got the barrel. Done. That's it. That's a part. It's only got four parts to clean. Very simple, very easy. That's probably why Glock Glock guys like the uh, Glock so much because it's so easy to disassemble. <sighs> Not a knock on the uh, Glock, just uh, it is relatively simple to clean. All right, so what we got here, it's got the spring here, got the barrel, got the lower, and we got the slide. So since this gun really doesn't have that many parts to it, it really ain't that much to it, but I just take this little bit of rod, Yes, it actually works with a nine millimeter. Can you believe it? Clean out the barrel a little bit. Double check. Wipe off the access from the tip. Look at that, looking nice and clean down through there. Very, very nice barrel. However, the end does not look so clean. So let's go ahead and double check that right there. Yeah, that's better. And take our Q-tips like we did with the other one. Like we did with the 1911. Get out our hops. Ballastol makes it easy just because it's got a little spray nozzle with it. So that's another reason why I like Ballastol better. But this was like five bucks at the time, and I was just like, ah, whatever. It was like five bucks at the time, and I couldn't find any ballast all, so that's why we got hops right now. 
Although not to knock hops, hops is actually a really, really good, uh, good lubricant, good cleaner. Gonna work right around the edge of that barrel there. And now we got that so we get through them grooves right there where the barrel rests inside and chambers that recoil spring or the guiding spring, whatever you want to call it. Work on the spring itself. I guess we can just, yeah, let's reuse the, uh, what you call it. This is just to damper it down just a little bit. on it all right now we work on this once again start with that feed ramp we work on the mechanism that the slide rests on which is just these grooves right here a little bit on the trigger assembly back here not much but a little like I said I've already cleaned these guns so I don't want to put too much in on it. So there's that. Figure's working good. All right, so we got the slide here. Work a little bit inside the slide. Now, just like with the 1911, you don't want to get too close to right here. You don't want to put too much right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch back to our handy dandy Q-tip. Gonna wipe out what's in there. What do we got there? All right, it's all wiped out. <coughs> grab ourselves another Q-tip. right where the slide goes into I'm trying hard not to touch any of the compartments that you kind of need to remain dry and once we got that done slides pretty much done now there's deeper in-depth guides to uh, deep cleaning the gun but uh, yeah, we're already long enough as it is. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> but that's that in a nutshell. Get a little bit more on that barrel, I guess. All right. And we just drop the barrel back in there. Oops. Guide rod back in there. And just like that, it's reassembled and ready for use. down all this stuff guys I, I hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was informative hope it was nice let alone with all the interruptions that probably is in the background but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless i hope it was helpful in any way possible like i said these are some more things that are tedious but necessary when owning a gun and taking care and maintaining your gun it is also important for gun safety So guys, hope this helped you this morning, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care.